Hello English students, it's Mr. Omari here. I just thought I'd do a couple of quick introductory like um, in talks and so forth to give you an idea of what to expect in my class. So here's the first of them. Uh, the first is, as you can see, my name looks like Omira, but it is in fact pronounced Omara. Let's have a quick, here's a, something for you to remember. O as in, oh my goodness, wasn't that surprising? Ma as in mother, Omar, and Ra as in lions and tigers and bears. So, O, Ma, Ra. Very easy to remember. Let's talk about what you can expect from me and what I'm going to expect from you in the classes that we have together. The first thing is that you're going to have to expect to put in an effort. Some of you will not like English much, some of you will struggle with English, and some of you will have, you know, have fantastic English skills. Every single one of you is going to make an effort. I'm going to make an effort. This is going to be hard work because we're not here to waste our time. We're here to improve our skills. So there will be, you know, there'll be lighthearted moments, but there's going to be a lot of just, you know, hard work. And I'm not apologising for that, but I want you to understand it up front. Secondly, I think you have, I'm going to expect you to speak in class. I'm going to expect you to take part in everything. I'm going to expect you to speak up, but only one person speaks at a time. So, if you're speaking, then I'm not going to interrupt you. And if I do, then you've got every reason, every right to ask me to stop because, you know, one person speaks at a time. That's the rule. And if I'm speaking, I'll expect you to be listening to me. There will be times when we'll break into a whole, you know, discussions and so forth, and there'll be times for quiet conversation. But when we're talking as a class, one person speaks at a time. And heaps of the time, that will be your characters. It's not just me talking at you. But that happens sometimes too. There will be times when it's quite okay for you to listen to music and pop your headphones in or on and listen, particularly when you're doing sustained individual writing. And that's fine if you've got a healthy relationship with listening to the music. If you can listen and write, and I've had plenty of students who can, then this is absolutely fine. But once you stop writing, then the music goes off. Because then you're just slipping into using it as a way to not work, and we're here to work. You know, you don't improve your skills if you're not working. Next up, phones and iPods. I'm aware that lots of you don't wear watches. Uh, you get your um, information off your phone. So I'm happy for the phone to sit on the desk like you can see here. And if you want to quickly flick it on and see the time. Uh, and, you know, for all I know, you're checking to see if a message comes in. But provided it's a very, you know, it's a glance, a glance I'm fine with. Getting distracted, sending messages, faffing around on Facebook, these things are not okay. Using it for a quick time check is quite fine. Uh, in terms of time, we have 250 minutes a week together. That might not sound much like that might sound like a lot to you, but it's actually not very much, and we need to use all of it. So you need to be here for every single class. We're going to be working pretty constantly, flat out a lot of the time for all of our time. So if you miss a whole week, that's 250 minutes worth of stuff that you're going to have missed out on. And so you need to be here at the start of the session, and we work all the way up to the end. Don't bother telling me that the bell is going to ring. I know the bell is going to ring. But we, we work until it rings. Sometimes we work past it, but mostly we just work to it. And the last thing I want you to remember is that in this room, and I would hope in school and life generally, you treat everybody with respect. I know you're not all going to be the biggest fans of each other. You don't even need to particularly like me. Although, you know, I would hope that I would <laughs> we get there. But... You, we speak to people with respect, we don't do things to upset other people, and that includes sort of the underhanded ways of upsetting people. That's out too. I don't want you to be sly about um, being disrespectful, I just want you to show people respect a as a default position. Anyhow, so that's what I expect. Um, I'll put up another presentation about other stuff, and hopefully this is useful to you.